Hello, John from Bang & Olufsen in Manchester. I'm happy 2017. With a new year comes a new product. Let's take a look at the new BioPlay M5 Bluetooth wireless streaming speaker. So the M in BioPlay M5 means movable. It's part of the new BioPlay naming structure. So it requires mains all the time, but it's light and small enough to pick up and move. It's a wireless 360 degree speaker with built-in Bluetooth, a Chromecast, which used to be called Google Cast, AirPlay, and it's part of the BioLink multi-room system. It's available in the natural or the black finish, but by spring we should have the moss green and deep red. I'll put a link in the description so you can see all the current colours and prices. The cover's woven from Kavadrat wool. I think I'm saying that right, Kavadrat, Vadrat. But it gives it a lovely premium finish. Now that lovely cover does just slide off. There we go. We can take a look what lies underneath. So we have a sealed enclosure with a front facing mid-range and tweeter, each powered by their own 30 watt Class D digital amplifier. If we turn the unit round, we can see at the back there are two more tweeters. So we have two more three quarter inch tweeters to give an even spread of sound around the unit and those ones are powered by their own 30 watt Class D digital amplifier. And underneath the cabinet facing down onto this dome there's a 5 inch base unit powered by its own 40 watt Class D digital amplifier. And with the covers being removable you will be able to order these as extras in various different colours. Uh, nothing too surprising in the connection panel. We've got a hardwired Ethernet connection if you don't want to rely on wireless. Standard figure eight mains plug. You've got a three and a half millimeter jack line in so you can connect an external source. There's a setup button and a hard power off. And that's it really. And the top of the unit is made from aluminium in true Bang & Olufsen style. And this is the volume control and control for the source. So when you turn it up, it will change the volume. And when you let go, look at that. It just slides gracefully back to the middle. And then a single press will play the last source that you played. And a double press will search through the multi-room sources if you have any connected. If you press and hold, it will turn it off. And it's not particularly big, the footprint's just a bit bigger than a BioPlay A1. So once you've got it up and running with the Bio Setup app, uh, you can play music to it in a variety of different ways. So if you're using Apple, you can just use AirPlay, as you would with a normal AirPlay speaker. So there we can see we've got the BioPlay M5 Natural all set up, and then you just use your favourite music app to cast the music. Now BioPlay M5 has Chromecast built in, so any time you see this logo on one of your favourite apps, you can touch it and join to it. So by touching it, it brings up a list of compatible devices that have been found, so then you can just select and cast to the device. And with it having the Google Cast built in, or Chromecast built in, if you're using the Google Home app, it's also compatible with other um, Chromecast speakers from other manufacturers so you can join them all together using the Google system. So within the Google app you've got all the available devices that are on your network that are compatible with Chromecast and you just tap on and play to it. Easy. You can use the Bio Music app for Android and iOS if you want to control the music that you play and see all of your multi-room products if you have them uh, and control the multi-room experience. If you're an Android user like me, there's a new Bang & Olufsen app. It's in beta stage, so it will get better and better, but I think it's much nicer than the Bio Music app. So with the Bang & Olufsen app, you can see it's connected. I've got mine connected to the Deezer and TuneIn apps, uh, all logged into the accounts. And you can see all your favorite tracks and albums and artists all laid out with this lovely interface. It's really slick and fast. Um, you can click on the menu at the top and go straight to radio or change any settings that you want to. 
and there's a search at the top if you want to search something in particular from Deezer or TuneIn or your own connection, you know, your collection that you've got connected. You can also manage your products and you can link them together with the multi-room system if you've got more than one Bang & Olufsen product in your house. If you search Bang & Olufsen on the Google Play Store, you see it's just about halfway down the page and it looks like that one. Give it a go. So I've got the two together there just to show the two different colours available, but they are single 360 speakers. They're designed to be used on their own. You can join multiple ones together with the multi-room system, but there's no stereo pairing as yet. So if I just tap the top, it should just play the last thing that I used. Really punchy, big sound. The mid-range in particular is silky smooth thanks to that dedicated drive unit. So sound-wise, I would say Beoplay M5 sits just a bit higher than the Beole 15 and not quite as good as the Beoplay A6 because that's much bigger, it's stereo, it's more powerful, etc, etc. Um, but I have to say, for me, my ears, I prefer the sound of the Beoplay M5 to the Beo Sound 1 which is next to it there. Uh, because of its dedicated mid-range driver, I just think it's got a nicer performance and it's got a slightly larger base unit as well, so it's got a bit more punch to it. So yeah, for me, I really like the M5. I think it's great. And that's about your lot. Uh, Spearplay M5, versatile, powerful, nicely designed, lovely little Bluetooth speaker. Part of the multi-room system, you've got uh, Chromecast built in, AirPlay, whatever you need. So if you've got any questions or you want to come in for a listen, feel free to pop in, leave me some comments below. I like all the like action that's going on, that little like button, that's great. And uh, you'll see us in the next video. A little treat for the next video, isn't that right, pal? If you can see just behind me there, Beolab 90s. Oh yeah.